and welcome to another flipped classroom tutorial. Today we are going to review a web app and in particular Kanbanchi. Now what is Kanbanchi? Kanbanchi is a project manager so go ahead install the app which is completely free and let's open it. Now within Kanbanchi you can create multiple dashboards and you can have these open all at the same time. So let's create our first dashboard and this will be, let's say we are planning a meetup. So, meetup, plan, flipped, classroom. Create. Now once you've created this dashboard, you can share this with all the collaborators. That means that you can share it with anyone responsible for planning this meetup. So we have a to-do list, a doing and a done. Now by clicking on the titles of this list, we can rename them so they do not have to be called to-do. You can also add a list and you can give it, obviously, you can give it your own name. So let's say that this is resources. Resources needed. Now let's go ahead and share this dashboard with someone who will collaborate and help us plan this meetup. So click on share. And just as with Google Drive, you are presented with the same view. So let's go ahead and type in their email address. Click on Edit or View and share it. This person has now been given access to my Kanbanchi board. Now all of this is stored within Google Drive, so that means that anyone with a Gmail account has full access to Kanbanchi. I would like to add some items to my lists now, but before that, let's add a list description. So my to-do list can also have a description. Now, all the jobs that need to be done. Now, you don't have to add a description, but it does make it easier when you have a large number of collaborators. Now, you can also limit the card number. So as you can see, the to-do list has no items. Doing has zero out of three, because sometimes you want to limit the number of jobs that are being done at the same time. This way you can ensure that the jobs are done right. And then we have done, obviously no limit. If you want to change that, you can go ahead and click on this list. Let's say we limit the card number to five. So we can have five jobs being done at the same time. The resource list, obviously we do not want to limit this because we want to have all the resources we need for our meetup. Let's go ahead and add our very first card. Now each card has information and you can assign these cards to all the people collaborating on this board. So let's go ahead and add a to-do and let's say that this meetup needs a theme or topic. So theme or topic to be decided. So we now have our theme or topic to be decided card. We can go in and edit. We can add a card description. We can also assign this card. Now, before you can assign this card to members, they need to be already collaborators on this board. So let's go ahead and assign this to myself, seeing as I am already helping out. And let's scroll down you will see there is a start date and due date. Let's say that this is due in a couple of days, let's say the 27th. And what happens now is that I can choose to push the due date to Google Calendar. This again shows you one of the powerful features of Kanbanchi and that is that integration with Google Docs, Google Apps. So we can push the due date to Google Calendar. We can add a checklist. You can add multiple items. So let's say item 1, item 2, and item 3. And of course, not everything is as important as the, each other. So item 1 has a weight of, let's say this is a very important item, 5. Item 2, not so important, so 2. And item 3 is slightly more important than item 2. 
So you can now nicely see the numbers. So item 1, importance 5, item 2, importance 1, item 3, importance 3. We can add tags and attachments. Now we'll get back to these attachments in a second. Down here you see a percentage. Now this percentage is calculated by using the importance of each item. So if I click item 1 has been done, mark it as done, you will see I have 56% done. If I mark item 2, this job is only 11% done. This is great if you're looking for a project manager in which you can assign different tasks to different people and you have a checklist with different items all of a different importance. Now, attachments. How does this work? Well, when you click on attach a file, you are presented with two options. You can select from your Google Drive or you can upload a file. I will select from Google Drive because that is the real power behind Kanbanchi and I will add a presentation on Bbots. So when I double click this, it has been added and everyone collaborating on this board now has access to my attachments. This makes it much easier for them to find all the relevant files in a single place, easy for you to manage your project. We can also move cards from to do to doing or done. So let's say that this is done and we can color code them. So up here we can now choose to have this card let's say nicely green color and we can add some tags. Now up here you see add color tag. First of all I'm going to edit these. So scroll down. I want my red tag to say important because this is for the important items that need to be done. You could also say urgent. And let's go ahead and add this tag to my card. So add color tag, urgent. This gives it that nice visual look that a lot of us are looking for in a project manager. We also have a overview up here of our dashboard activity. Now this shows us what everyone has done and how much they have done can go to the overall details, we can send email notifications and we can choose how these are sent. If you have a project that is constantly being updated then maybe you might want to select as soon as possible or once an hour. Me, I'm happy with once a day. You can then also choose to get updates on all the cards in this dashboard, the cards assigned to you or watched cards only. These are just some of the features of Kanbanchi. Another feature of Kanbanchi, which is a very useful feature, is that you can fold your lists and this will make it easier for you to have just the list of items in front of you that you want to see and the one you are working on. There is also a dashboard filter which helps you find the key cards if you have a very large project to manage. So let's say I'm looking for all the cards that say theme. I can now type in theme, apply my filter and as you can see it has filtered this card. I can also filter on assigned to, created dates or due dates. Let's turn off our filter. There is also a upgrade to Pro. Now what Pro does is it gives you access to branding and backgrounds. I will now show you what a pro account could look like. Okay, we are now in a pro account of Kanbanchi and as you can see I have my branding in the top left corner and I can also add a nice wallpaper. So let's go ahead and add a wallpaper. Let's go to branding and I'm going to select one of these pre-made themes. Now obviously you can also upload your own. So let's select this theme and this gives it that personal touch. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions on Kanbanchi, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. This was another flipped classroom tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and if you would like to get your hands on a Kanbanchi Pro account, fill out the form below and you will be sent a promo code which gives you a one year free Pro account.